Right now at 11 o'clock, investigators have just released the name of the eight-year-old boy who was found dead this morning in New Bedford. They believe his father killed him before he took his own life. And this heartbreaking story actually gets even more sinister. Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Chris Tanaka and for David Wade. And I'm Lisa Hughes. The suspect is the son of a Red Sox Hall of Famer, and he's also a person of interest in the disappearance of the boy's mother. WBZ's Julie McDonald is in New Bedford with everything we've uncovered so far. Well, police have just said that eight-year-old Dante Hazard is the little boy found dead inside his own home at the hands of his father. That father, 53-year-old George C. Scott III, is the retiree George Boomer Scott. There's just people everywhere, and I'm like, when you see crime scene tape, something definitely happened. New Bedford neighbors are stunned by what investigators found inside this Phillips Road home early Friday morning. A father and son killed in an apparent murder-suicide. Police believe George Scott III used a sharp object to kill his child before taking his own life. It's still unclear when that may but next door neighbors say it's been unusually quiet for several days. And I haven't seen him in a week or so, and all his lights have been shut off for the past few days, so which was weird because his outside lights were always on. Police visited the home just after 8 in the morning to explore that absence of activity. A welfare check for 1643 Phillips Road. Got family on scene outside. But they were familiar with the address. Detectives just executed a search warrant there about two and a half weeks ago in connection with the disappearance of Lisa Hazard. She was last seen in 2019 and is the mother of that eight-year-old tragically taken from the family and friends who love him. Yeah, I heard it was his birthday yesterday too, which is even worse. Like, no child should have to go through that. And be like an innocent child, why bring him to? And Scott was a person of interest in the disappearance of Lisa Hazard. That case remains active and ongoing. In New Bedford, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.